2023 everyone for 2023 i've prepared this nice and easy project to do to make your own collar it's reversible you can actually use it inside out i'll show you shortly how to put it on the inside has got a lot of textures while the outside has got a lot of colors so this is a simple project. You can actually do it in a morning or an afternoon. If you don't have that, you can also do it in the evening. I'm just going to show you how to put it on. You just put it over your head. You can actually leave it long or turn it, fold it over. And you've got this nice and cute collar. To those who are going to make it and please let me see what you're going to make happy 2023 this is the, the, the collar you'll be making it's very colorful and i love it i used all my leftovers of silk and a very fine foam as my resist pattern and then i wrapped the silk the, at the front and the back and then crunched up all the leftovers i waited it first to make it easy to to crunch I use two different colors of merino, 19 microns. One is blue and the other one is black. Made them into smaller pieces so I made it easier for myself to pull them fine. Lay out wool in very nice fine layers and overlapping them at the top. You only need one layer, you don't need two layers. The wool will do the job even when it's only one layer. The, the laying out is so important to make sure that your scarf is not having too much wool. Too much wool will result into having a thicker and heavy collar, which you don't really want. After that, just wet it a little bit to make sure that the wool is going to be where you want it when you start up, um, doing your embellishing. With embellishing, I used all my little cutouts of silk and some knitting yarns that I have in my trash basket. So I just started to put them on. Actually, this time I was really only thinking of red and using them silk fibers as a contrast in colors. You can also use different colors of silk fabrics as a contrasting colors. It doesn't really have to be the silk fibers. I also used some silk hankies. I just found them as I was going. So sometimes as always my creative part comes without planning. So things that I put in at the time of embellishing, I almost don't plan them. I just let them flow with, um, with what I have and what my sigh, what I see and what I want to achieve at the end. So this makes it more of a creative part and that also makes it so easy later that when you make two of these they'll never be the same uh, so after embellishing i just going to wet it again and make sure that the water is in and then rub out the air pockets after rubbing out the air pockets all over um, i'll check to make sure everything is in place and then after checking i'm going to start sanding and 10 seconds on each position and after that I'll put the plastic again then flip it over to the other side and the other side will also have the silk already so when you remove that plastic off the silk will be at the back already I'm just going to scrunch it again make some more textures using the silk and then after that I'll go on and fold the wool that was coming out from the other side just to make sure that you don't have overlapping edges. Then I'll start laying out wool in the same manner and the same direction as I did at the front. Then this is really the reputation of what I did at the front. You can see the layout, then use the less over silk and just It's very nice to do this with all kinds of silks and different colors because the blue and the black of the wool will come and show afterwards. After felting, you see that the colors will change. 
then it's time to do the rolling in the and slip mat if you don't have that mat and you're using the bubble wrap you use the bubble wrap leave your plastic on it for the, to start with until you are happy with the pre-felting stage that you've been rolling to do try it and once you're happy and you've checked it to be time to add some hot water just be careful with the hot water that it's you don't get bent and you've got some you can wear some gloves but mostly in the winter time my studio is so cold that i just start using it because it gets cold anyway very quickly then after that i remove the resist pattern and start falling the falling state with this one is a small job i also do a bit of throwing and just to get the 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 wool gouging inside or felting to the silk quicker see after that I'll start doing the rolling and I'll be rolling a lot more in the middle because I want the middle part to shrink more than the sides and then I'll think if I want it to get shorter I'll also roll up from up and down and it will go pretty quick just make sure to keep it warm while you are felting you can always add some extra water you can have some extra soap Keep rolling until you achieve the size you're looking for. Once you're happy with the size, you can rinse your your collar in the water. And to the water, I always had a cup of vinegar just to make sure all the sopas come out. And then I'll just shape it by playing with it and spooling uh, here and there taking everything make it nice and neat after this I will just iron it I love ironing my felt because it just gives a fantastic finishing 